you're one of those tax filers who waits until late at night on tax day to get yours mailed in, beware. That familiar scene of dropping off the taxes to post offices that stay open late will not be happening this year. Post offices are not extending retail hours on tax day tomorrow. So the Postal Service encourages you to mail them earlier in the day. It adds that the most common mistakes Americans make in mailing their forms are not including enough postage and not providing the correct IRS mailing address. Also tonight, keep in mind, if you just cannot get your taxes filed by tomorrow, you've still got to act. Most taxpayers can get a six-month extension if, and it's an important if, they ask for it no later than the date the return is due. And for most of us, that's tomorrow. And it'll push that deadline out to October 15th. It's actually pretty simple to do. Just log on to irs.gov and search for Form 4868. If you think you're due a refund, filing that extension is as simple as filling out the form there. You'll get a confirmation number for your records, and you don't need to mail in a hard copy. If you're less web-friendly, you can do it the old-fashioned way. Complete and return a paper version to the appropriate address. It's on the form. But as the saying goes, time is money, especially when it comes to the IRS, right? Remember, this is an extension of the time to file your return, not an extension of the time to pay. If you suspect you owe, you need to send that amount in with your extension to avoid any interest, late fees, or penalties. You can do that using your debit or credit card or through e-file. Now you can find some helpful information from the IRS for last-minute filers right now on our website at WXYZ.com.